Hello. Um, basically, I'm constructing a video to show that it is actually possible to use a Wiimote with Counter-Strike Source or any other real game, um, as well as for a mouse and other such endeavors. Uh, basically, all you need is a handy-dandy Wiimote. I would uh, prefer a nunchuck as well. Both would be good. Um, along with, I mean, you don't really need to have it, but a sensor bar which I, uh, I'll show you right now. I have chilling on top of my monitor. You can actually see it's on right now. It's actually powered by a uh, AC adapter that I kind of spliced it and put it all together and made it semi-work. Oops. Anyways, uh, sorry for, by the way, for the camera. It is a webcam, so it's not the greatest of quality. But anyways, um, I just wanted to show basically me playing and then hopefully I'll be able to splice uh, the actual game footage right next to it. I'm recording and let's see how good I do. For reference, or just so you know, I'm playing against bots, I'm not playing against real people. I would uh, be doing quite badly if I was. I'm probably going to do quite badly regardless. Bots, um, still pretty much kill me, but we'll see. It is kind of hard to aim with the Wiimote, but it's, I mean, it's pretty simplistic. I have it using the, uh, sensor bar, so, it's kind of like you're trying to shoot somebody. You're, like, play one of those old, uh, shooting games, like Area 51 or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Basically, you aim with tilting of the Wii uh, moat in the direction you want to go and then I'm moving with the actual joystick and I just got killed. Ah, horrible. But yeah, um, my C button on my nunchuck is jump, this is the top one. The bottom one I have is crouch. I have on the number pad down is uh, mouse down, up is mouse up, so that way I can switch my weapons. A is secondary weapon function, um, B is shoot, uh, let's try to think, minus is drop weapon, home is uh, actually the um, tab, so I can view my scores. One is reload, I believe, and two is use. Uh, not really that good with it right now. But anyways, I'm going to play one more round here, and then I think I'm going to call it quits. And I'm going to give myself a good gun, too, because I'm a cheater. Give me an M4. Let's go see if I can actually kill a bot. That would be wonderful. Nope, just got owned again. Alright, let's see if I can. Oh, that would be nice. Let's actually give myself something cool this time, like a scout. This shows zooming as well as anything else. Let's see, that's pretty cool. enemies left apparently and I don't see any of them. Either of them. <laughs> ah, camping bomb, eh? It's kind of hard to see zoomed up. I'm just going to go ahead and clock him. Burst fire. What, did he run away? Hmm. God, ah, oh, got rocked again. Alright, and basically that was just me playing Counter-Strike with the Wiimote. Um, to do this, what you basically need is, of course, a Wiimote. Uh, nunchuck, if you want to use that to move around, you could use your keyboard or possibly figure out some way to use your Wiimote to do that. You're going to need a Bluetooth dongle. It's a little USB device that uh, basically plugs in your computer and transmits and receives Bluetooth signal from the Wiimote. That's how it communicates with it. Uh, you need some software as well. Uh, the one that I use is called GlovePi. It basically it enables you to bind keys from the Wiimote to your computer.
computer, so like if you hit the A button on the Wii you can have it hit the middle button of your mouse or whatever. It it's basically what it does. Um you're gonna need a Bluetooth driver, but that usually comes with uh your Bluetooth dongle. Uh that's pretty much it. Um you can get a sensor bar or you can just use the tilt action of the Wii mount. Uh, I use my sensor bar actually, as I said earlier, I connected to an AC adapter so I just plug it in. Some people splice it into batteries, some people just put their Wii uh, right next to the computer and just power it off the Wii. Other people um, just uh, basically buy uh, one offline, 